70% of the children at the Hope Community School, they live with their grandparents, not with their parents. Most of their parents have died. The, the pandemic of uh, HIV and AIDS has affected many families to lead them into poverty because it affects uh, their families in terms of when the father and the mother die, the children remain without someone to take care of them. The poverty challenges in our communities are lack of food, lack of shelter, lack of education, lack of health facilities, and generally lack of, of jobs. The bigger po percentage of the population in Zambia is actually uh, living in poverty, and the children, normally, they are the ones that are, uh, get affected more. Spark Hope Partnership has accomplished a lot and one of the major things has been to build capacity uh, in terms of uh, leadership, training, financial resources and direction of the work and also in terms of uh, accountability uh, systems that um, helps us to be more, more accountable for all the resources that come our way. It's, it's fantastic, the hands-on approach, the way they do things. They are not uh, like standing aloof uh, somewhere else and then when they come here they try to be close to what is happening. Hope has more than tripled the size of their staff to over 24 people. When they started the school was serving just 50 students with a classroom only program. Today they serve over 300 students with free education, a daily meal program, clean water and medical care. We partnered with Hope Ministries in 2007, and in the first four years, I've seen incredible change. The Spark Ventures made it clear from the beginning that uh, we must eventually built into Hope Church Ministries uh, a sustainability component. In 2010, Spark made the lead investment in a for-profit business that will sustain Hope Ministries for years to come. Well, the firm will give us a lot of benefits. One, uh, the income that will come from there will bring about sustainability in terms of operations at our school and Hope House. So we'll be able to pay the wages, contributing to the health needs of the children by providing a meal every day and also by supporting a medical facility that is at our school. I felt maybe in one way or another that I can contribute, although not financially, is by giving them my knowledge. That was the most important thing why I've decided to join this farm. When I grow up, I'm come to be a teacher. I want to be a pilot. I want to be the first in my family to be a doctor. My hopes for the children are they get educated. In short, they become self-sustained so that they help their families, themselves, the community where they'll be living, and the country. SPAC is different from other organizations uh, because it empowers us to help ourselves. I get motivated because I would want to see these children at least have a better life at least to have education, to have a shelter, to have food. When they are happy, they make me happy as well. When they are smiling, they make me smile as well. And that makes me motivated every day. Instead of telling us what to do, Spark has helped us uh, to train us to do what we do best. My name is Jen, I want to change the world. My name is Ted Banda and I'm going to change the world. My name is David and I'm going to change the world. My name is Rita and, and I'm going to change the world. 